Well, this week, in fact, tomorrow, December 23rd, will mark one year since Kilauea Volcano started its episodic eruptions. I took a look back and a closer look at what's going on at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island. Here on the island of Hawaii, it's hard to believe it's been nearly a year since Kilauea kicked off its stunning series of dramatic episodic eruptions, each one delivering soaring lava fountains and unforgettable sights across the Hale Ma'uma'u crater. Now, as the volcano approaches that one-year mark, what have scientists learned about this remarkable run of activity? I met with a USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory expert to find out about what the past 12 months says about what's next. Over the last year, we've had this really spectacular phase of activity here on Kilauea where uh, we've had these episodic lava fountains, and these are some of the most impressive lava fountains we've had in decades, um, easily the tallest in the last 20, 30 years. The volcano has produced nearly 40 of these explosive episodes, each one erupting from the summit vent roughly every couple of weeks. The fountains are powerful enough to be seen and heard from across the caldera. Scientists say this entire year-long sequence is a part of a larger story that began in 2018, when a massive lower east rift zone eruption drained the summit magma chamber and caused a dramatic collapse. We've been in this phase of crater refilling. This is the sixth eruption here at the summit since 2018. And we've now filled in a, a large portion of, it, of that 2018 collapse, but it's still less than half. But what makes this current eruption so unique isn't just the volume, it's its variety. Kilauea has cycled through lava lakes, crusted overflows, and spectacular towering fountains. It's also giving scientists a textbook look at how magma systems breathe. Each fountain begins with pressure building in the magma chamber, then suddenly releasing. It's basically like, um, you know, opening a spigot and then turning it off when the fountain ends. Um, once the fountain ends, the magma chamber from our geophysical data show that the chamber immediately repressurizes. So that's why we've had these just repeated cycle of pressure buildup and release. Despite the intensity of the activity, the summit remains stable. All lava is contained safely within the crater, and researchers see no signs of magma shifting toward the rift zones, movements that led to the destructive 2018 eruption. So right now, with this current eruption, it's really the best of both worlds in that, in the sense that we have this spectacular activity and it's, and it's safe, it's contained, that lava is contained within the crater. Uh, there's absolutely no sign of magma you know, intruding or creeping into the, the rift zones, uh, but things can happen quickly, so always keeping a close eye on it. And for anyone lucky enough to witness one of these fountain episodes in person, the experience is truly unforgettable. For many people, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. To see it and also to hear it and also to feel the kind of the ground shaking is it's hard to describe. The experience is definitely drawing people into the park. Officials say visitation surges when eruptions occur. Through the end of October, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park recorded more than 1.58 million visitors this year, already nearly 11% higher than all of 2024 and before the busy holiday season. They say the eruptions like this, easy to see from the summit and marked by towering fountains, is often the highlight of a visit. To mark the one-year anniversary of this eruption, USGS will host a year of lava fountains at the summit of Kilauea at Fahine Kapu. USGS scientists, UH Hilo researchers, and park staff will explain how the eruption has evolved and discuss related hazards. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is also preparing for Volcano Awareness Month in January, with more programs planned across the island of Hawaii. For more event details and the latest eruption updates, live cameras, and daily reports, head to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory website. HVO continues to track every episode with a dense network of cameras and instruments, making this one of the best recorded lava fountaining eruptions ever observed. Carly Oshida, Island News.